Hello everyone, my name is Kirill, here on the Auto Advisor channel. Today we will talk about how you kill the engine mount. I will tell you very important nuances from the point of view of engineering, which will change your mind about how to properly operate the suspicion. I predict a lot of noise in the comments. In order not to kill the suspicion, two simple conditions must be observed. This is the mode of operation and timely maintenance. Brilliant, right? Let's talk about maintenance first. To begin with, you must understand that the suspicion consists of many paths that are interconnected with each other. If for some reason one part fails and something is incorrectly configured, then gradually this problem spreads to the entire suspicion, since the suspicion is a single mechanism. For example, if your wheel is out of balance, then when it rotates, it creates vibrations. So these vibrations are further transmitted to the suspicion and increased wear occurs. So what about maintenance? Point number one. It is necessary to install high quality parts on the suspicion, because as I said, if one breaks, then the load on the remaining suspicion elements will increase. But if the time has come and you need to buy a new spare part, visit our website, there is a very convenient search and delivery. Point number two. Wheels must be properly balanced, so that the wheels don't create vibrations and all this is not transmitted to our suspicion. The third point is very similar called wheel alignment. In fact, the wheels don't just stand there parallel to each other. They are lined up at certain angles, in different plans. This is done on special services on a regular computer, it shows how the wheels are set. All this greatly affects the safety and handling of the car. Well, as you understand, if the corners on the alignment are set incorrectly, then all this will create increased loads on the suspicion itself, since the car will move either to the left or right, or it will chew rubber and so on. And the last fourth point the corners maintains is called proper tire inflation. The point is related to the previous one, because if you go to a alignment, the tires must be inflated correctly, since the wheel alignment depends on this. Well, driving on inflated tires is of course unsafe, all the more so if one of the tires is under inflated, then the car will move in one direction or another, and when driving through bumps, loads will occur that can damage the disc itself or the suspicion itself. Now we return to the operating mode. Point number one. This is smooth initial right at sub-zero temperatures. Since at sub-zero temperatures the oil in the shock absorbs is very thick and under increased loads, it is possible to squeeze out the seal in this same shock absorbs. Therefore, when on the streets minus, we gradually start driving. Let the car warm up and the suspicion should also warm up. Point number two. Don't brake when driving over bumps. For example, when you pass through a speed bump, you need to brake in advance. The fact is that when you slow down and drive through bumps, then increased loads are created on the suspicion, which then negatively affect the durability of its elements. And the third banal point, don't kill the suspicion with aggressive driving, over bumps. Everything is simple and there is nothing to comment on here. Now, the most interesting fourth point. You can't drive in a very frugal manner. Yes, yes, I said you can't drive like a turtle. This is his bad for the suspicion. The reason is that when designing a suspicion from an engineering point of view, it is a sum that it will walk over the entire range of amplitudes. Not in any narrow range, but in the entire range. It is considered that there is a greater probability and greater wear and tear in the middle of the range. There is such a Gaussian disruption. If anyone is interested, you can see what it is. From a lean operating point of view, wear occurs in some narrow range and we must stretch our resource to the full amplitude and not wear out some kind of tip of the suspicion, to so to speak. And now let's tell you in detail what happens in different suspicion elements during very lean operation.
When we operate the suspicion in a very narrow range of amplitudes, the first is wheel bearings. When they work in narrow ranges, they have an uneven disruption of lubricant and all this increases their way because for in order for the lubricant to be evenly disrupted, it is necessary that there be the entire amplitude and all possible combination of rotation of the wheel bearing. Moment number two. These are silent blocks at small amplitudes. They simply begin to lose elasticity. That is, they are not used no matter how, they don't work, and when the rubber doesn't work, you know when the guy is standing, it simply loses elasticity, and rubber products completely become unusable. Therefore, under normal laws in silent blocks, everything will be fine with them. And the third point is the shock absorbs. When the shock absorbs, Walk in small amplitudes, then some local wear of the road itself and the seals themselves occurs and leaks may occur. That is, if a person rides on the entire range of the shock absorber, then he will, as it were, wear out the entire length of this road evenly. And all these seals will wear out faster when he walks at such amplitudes and there will be local wear. In principle, this is all I wanted to say about this topic. The conclusions are very simple. It is necessary to operate the suspicion normally and service it in timely manner. That is, it is necessary to adhere to some kind of golden mean. By the way, I recently bought myself a car from a USA. I was very steep on this issue, I figured it out for a long time and finally decided. So if you are interested in it, write comments, I will definitely make videos about the pitfalls of how everything happens there, but as for the suspicion, I told everything what I want. I hope this video was useful to you and if you have any questions, suggestions, comments, necessarily write it in the comments, subscribe to our channel and all the best to you and see you soon!